So guys and girls, welcome back to another video. I'm Hamza with Updato.com and today I've got a pretty interesting video for you guys. So I'm gonna be showing you seven awesome smartphone life hacks. Now we were just at CES the other week and we got to check out some really awesome pieces of tech and those will be featured in upcoming videos. And speaking about CES, I've got a huge announcement for you guys. So let's just roll it. So guys and girls, welcome back to another video. So I have some exciting news. So my brand and also Updato.com so Peter, introduce yourself. What up guys, my name is Peter, guy you probably never heard of, but we do a lot of tech write-ups and we do tons Board of video work. Right? So yeah. why not team up and do it together? So pretty much we're teaming up, we're merging, and we're just combining forces. Because they do written work, I do video work, so why not just combine both of them and kind of create some killer content. So what's going to happen is basically we're merging and we're going to be able to pump out even more videos for you guys so that's more top apps top tech and just some really awesome product reviews within the next few weeks so um talk a little bit more about kind of what we're going to do well you know you were talking about making a name change and yeah. uh we, we've discussed that you know we, we've got an established brand and i think this would be a good opportunity for yeah. us to kind of make that happen what do you think so pretty much you guys were asking me to change the channel name a while back so why not just do it now so within the next week or so i'm gonna rebrand the channel and it's gonna be awesome so we can pump out more content and just look out for some more exciting content in the next few weeks absolutely i'm excited that's pretty much it peace Definitely some exciting things to look out for on the channel in the coming weeks. Now with that being said, let's get on to the first smartphone life hack. So starting off with the first life hack, you can turn a simple pen or pencil into a stylus for your smartphone. To do so, simply cut out a piece of foil and wrap it around a pen. To secure it, just use a rubber band and you're pretty much good to go. You've now made a DIY phone stylus that you can fully functionally use on your smartphone and it works surprisingly well. A common downside to most smartphones is that the speaker quality and loudness overall isn't too good. Now a simple life hack to amplify the speaker volume is to place the phone inside a glass bowl which will increase the volume significantly. It's something that you really wouldn't think of but if you ever are in need of basically creating some more volume with your smartphone or you just want to try it out then all you have to do is get a glass bowl, pop it inside and you're done. The next one is kind of interesting to say the least. So if you have any scratches on your smartphone screen or you just want to polish it up, simply get some toothpaste. Now what you do with this toothpaste is you apply it onto the smartphone screen and rub it in. Leave it there for around five minutes or so and then just wipe it off with a standard microfiber cloth. You'll be able to see that the toothpaste removes some scratches and moreover it just polishes the screen and gives it a bit of a shine. Next up on the list is something that will definitely come in handy if you ever find yourself in an emergency. So if you're using an iPhone 7, all you have to do is click the power button on the right rapidly and you will come up with an emergency SOS screen. Now what this does is it will obviously contact the emergency services when you slide it, but after that call, once the call has been ended, it will send a location to your favorite contacts or the contacts you've applied and it will give them your pinpoint location, which will definitely come in handy in an emergency situation. You can tweak this in the settings now if you are on an iphone 8 or iphone x all you have to do is hold the power and the volume key and just press that and it will also do the same thing now for android users obviously each android phone has different software or like a different skins on top so it's not really the same for every single android phone but if i do find something similar to this i will leave it listed in the description below if you're like most people nowadays and use your phone before you go to sleep or even in the night then you might want to turn on the night mode setting or download an app that will change the colors on your screen to a warmer tone on your smartphone. This feature could definitely help people sleep better and that's because the exposure to light suppresses the production of melatonin which is a hormone that signals to the body that it's time to sleep. AKA if you put this feature or use this feature you'll probably be able to sleep a bit better. It won't work for everyone but I mean it's worth trying out if you haven't already. There's a myriad of avid photographers out there primarily smartphone photographers and a lot of smartphones don't have small enough minimal focal lengths which means getting macro shots is super hard while well, simply all you have to do is apply a drop of water onto the back of the camera lens and it will allow you to get those lovely macro shots of plants or whatever you're into last up is more of a smartphone accessory but it has a practical use this is a smartphone fan and you can pick these up on amazon for relatively cheap prices so i'll leave some listed in the description below this may come in handy when you least expect it and it does work surprisingly well but 
that wraps it up for today's video. Anyway guys, make sure to leave a like on today's video if you did enjoy it. Let's try and hit 200 thumbs up. Also comment down below, hashtag tank if you watched this far in today's video. And that's pretty much it. I'm Hamza with updato.com and I'll talk to you lot in the next one. Latest lads. Bye.